I really love my Bronco. I've had it about 10 years. It's a 1976 Bronco. I've sort of taken a few bits off that makes it look like an earlier Bronco. I think the Bronco is really special in just the history in terms of an American icon. It was really the first series that, 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 in, that I think pe it, people really remember when you talk about Bronco. So we obviously used that as a, as a starting point. Someone suggested, well, you know, can we scan it as well? We put little dots all over the car, we photograph the car, and then that, that gets converted into a surface in the computer. It's really it's a 3D model that's been created using a measuring system photographically. I think when we design any vehicle, the, the, the exterior design really needs to communicate what the car can deliver. And I think the, the Bronco does that. I think the first thing people will notice on the new Bronco is really the face of the vehicle. And that's really where we've tried to pay homage to the, to the prior car. The car, when it was developed, it was off-the-shelf round headlamps, very simple indicators, stamped steel grill, and with a Ford badge proudly in the middle. Um, we've, we've really taken that and moved it into the 21st century, again, it's really high-tech lamps, still round, and still with that horizontal turn signal, but integrated in the headlamps as well. I think that's really something that's, that's one way of just taking that element of, of an original car and really moving it forward. I think one thing I find driving around in the Bronco is people look at it and smile instantaneously and I think that that tells you something about about what the character of the car is and what it means to people uh, in terms of their past and what it means to them in terms of the future as well.